Hello everyone, it's the Naderator here back with a mock, and this is a mock of a delivery truck, so kind of like a UPS style delivery truck or FedEx uh, style delivery truck here in the U.S. Uh, this is a uh, my own creation. I think I built it about oh a year and a half ago now for a contest over on the Brickset forum um, for a vehicle contest. So had a lot of fun building this one. Put it together. It was a monthly contest for a, any type of vehicle. Uh, got second place in the contest. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed enjoyed that contest and. Um, I wanted to show it off to you guys. I've made maybe a few tweaks since then, but pretty similar. So I've got the delivery driver here with his unique box. It's got a, if we can get that to focus, it's got a, uh, like a fragile sign on it in that top right corner. This would be the top of the box. And then also has an address there in the bottom left. So like that I think the delivery man as well as that package came from a mail airplane just like a cargo plane uh, set that I had when I was younger so here's the uh, delivery driver with his lettering like his letter logo there and you'll see that the delivery truck itself has that same logo so let's get into the build a little bit here. Um, if we take a look at the truck first. Um, it was uh, kind of fun to put together. I One of my favorite parts that's a little unique here is the half stud offset between this bumper and the uh, grill pieces here. So there's just a little half stud offset there that I think really sets the front of the car off right. Um, as we move around to the side of the truck, uh, this would be where you would put gas in, so kind of the gas tank. And we've got uh, the step up to the driver's door, and as well as a little bit of um, siding that goes along with the wheel wells there. Moving around to the back of the vehicle, we have um, a handle here, as well as it's kind of um, framed in. The door's kind of framed in with kind of some metal pieces. You know, so if we open this door up a little bit, you can see uh, it opens up to the inside of the truck. And if we bring our mail carrier back or our delivery man back uh, with his dolly bring him back into frame you can see he can just walk up that pretty well and into the back of the truck so yeah that's pretty cool uh, again the other side of the vehicle same style <clears throat> and then uh, maybe we'll get a view from the top here Just got like a rounded edge here coming up from the windscreen. Um, and the top actually is removable, so it makes it a little easier to play with. Um, pull the top off here. Almost like the modular style houses where the uh, roof is removable. The This vehicle's roof is removable as well. So if we take a look inside here, got kind of a grill floor pattern in here um, and then we've got uh, a couple seats in where the driver would sit um, so it can it can seat one minifigure very comfortably you could probably force two into there but uh, delivery men from what I've seen are usually long so works out pretty well um, again opening the back so we can stick all of our packages in back here kind of fill up the delivery truck and then I've got a stack of smaller envelopes 
uh, maybe some bubble mailers or things like that that people are sending and put those in there put this last package on top and then the dolly itself I've got a little clip here on the side uh, that the dolly can clip into for transport so pretty robust build and again you can see the inside now loaded up with some packages maybe it's about oh a third of the way full or so so the delivery man is getting close to done with his route for the day um, again putting that door back up here so it just hinges you can see some hinges here that it pulls back on just some clips that it uses to open and close there goes pretty smoothly and has pretty good um, grip there staying power when it's closed and then sticking that roof back on um, you know what we'll put the driver in as well so you can see how he kind of fits in there with the steering wheel so we've got our delivery driver seat him in there Put that roof back on and he's ready to go. So, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun building this one and I've had some fun tweaking it a little bit here and there. Um, <clears throat> I've got it to a place where I really like it. Um, I'm proud of it. This, this mock, it's come together pretty well. And, uh, yeah, uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, I probably can put together some instructions if there's enough interest and um, yeah so go ahead and comment if anybody's interested in adding something uh, one of these to their city layout or uh, just interested in having it or seeing how it goes together again there's kind of some tricky snot techniques on the bottom here so it gets the half stud offset here and you can see we have some studs on top here and then the anti studs here so um, yeah, there's some tricky construction in here that gets everything all put together, but once it's put together, it is fairly, uh, fairly structurally sound and a lot of fun to play with. <clears throat> I'm working on a few other mocks right now. Um, maybe I'll give you a sneak preview. So, working on a bus mock. Um, it's not quite done yet, but you can see it's coming together. I need to get some more windows and then um, some more pieces for the seating here so I've just got maybe four seats there probably need to get about 16 seats or so so um, and then my driver right now is a Marvel character so he was just kind of a placeholder to make sure that uh, it's everything's gonna come together right but working on that mock and then another mock I'm working on so those two will be kind of some city vehicles. Uh, this last mock I'm working on is a biplane for the Royal Air Force. So uh, it's an actual model based off of a real plane, the Avro 621 Tudor. Um, got some landing gear. That that's I just barely finished up putting the landing gear together, and I'm pretty proud of it. But you can see right now we've got some clear pieces that are actually supporting this wing. Um, so I just need to work on some, um, some bars to go between the wing and then, uh, got to do some color swapping too. I don't have enough pieces in correct colors, so you can see some black, some white, some red substituted there. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to, uh, keep working on these mocks. Um, another one kind of military-esque that's going to be coming down the pipe is a Willys Jeep. So we're getting pretty close on it as well. I thought that uh, I'd try my hand at a few of military style vehicles because the biplane had been pretty fun. So I thought, well, what's the smallest military vehicle? And I thought, well, maybe a Jeep. So working on that, it's coming together pretty well. <clears throat> I've got a few ideas, uh, some pieces I don't have that I'd like to uh, try out on it and see how it looks. But yeah. Um, look forward to sharing uh, my progress on these with you. As I continue to progress and showing you some of my older mocks as well. Uh, hopefully uh, you all 
have enjoyed this. And again, let me know if anybody's interested in having instructions for this. Uh, if there's enough interest, I'll work to put something together. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.